Hello coders, I welcome you all. In this video, we are going to discuss feature scaling. It is also called as data normalization. It is a very important step in the data pre-processing, and this is the last step involved in the data pre-processing before machine learning model training. So for that, we are going to use the house price prediction data set. I have customized this data set to explain the concept of feature scaling. So as you can see here, our data set contains two independent variables BHK and area and price which is our dependent variable also called as target variable here independent variables are also called as features dependent variable is also called as target or response variable so please remember feature scaling allows us to put numerical features into the same scale please concentrate only on numerical features we can't apply feature scaling for categorical features directly we apply feature scaling only on independent variables in our case bhk and area usually feature scaling is not required for the dependent variable and please remember feature scaling is performed column wise and on each and every data points individually so the question is why need to do this feature scaling so as you can see here in our data set let's take this area column from this column let's take one value let me take this 1250 and unit of this value is square feet so as you know bhk can be 2 or 3 bhk right but area is in the square feet so the unit of area is square feet as you can see here this 1250 is a magnitude and unit is square feet so as you know bhk can be 2 or 3 bhk right but area is in square feet so this comparison is invalid right because we can't compare bhk with area because both are having different units so we can't compare bhk with area but some of the machine learning algorithms can't understand this so we have to use feature scaling as i say feature scaling allows us to put numerical features into the same scale please remember feature scaling is essential for machine learning algorithms that calculate distances between data if not scale features with higher value range start dominating when calculating distances the machine learning algorithms that require feature scaling are mostly k nearest neighbor neural networks support vector machines principal component analysis linear regression and logistic regression the machine learning algorithms that do not require feature scaling are mostly non-linear machine learning algorithms like decision tree random forest etc please remember any algorithm which is not distance based it is not affected by feature scaling so as i said we apply feature scaling only on independent variables usually feature scaling is not required for dependent variables please remember feature scaling is performed column wise and on each and every elements individually so please remember we have to just learn the concept of feature scaling thanks to sklearn sklearn is having rich set of libraries to perform feature scaling but here we are discussing the concept behind feature scaling how actually sklearn performed feature scaling internally so let's get started so what feature scaling is doing internally so first it performs centering of the data there are many ways to do this for example subtracting every data points with the mean means average value of that column in the second step it scales every feature so that it becomes in particular range between 0 to 1 or between minus 1 to 1 again there are many ways to scale this value we can take maximum value and divide by that we can take standard deviation and divide by that there are many scalers are available for feature scaling we are going to discuss feature scaling techniques that are most widely used as you can see here there are two types of feature scaling normalization and standardization normalization also called as min max scaling it rescales all the numerical values between 0 and 1 please remember both are inclusive next second one standardization also called as z score normalization as you can see the equation of standardization which subtracts the mean means the average value from all the features so the resulting features have zero mean it scales the features to unit variance by dividing the feature by the standard deviation so as you can see internally mean max scalar performs feature scaling using this equation here xi means each and every data points available in that particular column here i can be one two three likewise as per number of samples available in our data set as i said this equation is applied to each and every data points 
individually don't you worry we need to learn only the concept each and everything is performed by a scalar at the end i will show you this practically so now here x mean minimum value available in that particular column x max maximum value available in that particular column again x mean minimum value available in that particular column so internally min max scalar performs feature scaling using this equation same for standardization standardization internally performs feature scaling using this equation again here xi means each and every data points available in that particular column here i can be 1 2 3 likewise as per number of samples available in our data set as i said this equation is applied to each and every data points individually don't you worry as i said earlier many times we need to learn only the concept each and everything is performed by a scalar here in this equation x mean means the average value of that particular column divided by x std standard deviation of that particular column standardization performs feature scaling using this equation that you can see over here as you can see here values of independent variables after applying min max scalar as you know min max scalar is using this equation to perform feature scaling as you can see scaled value of bhk and area columns that you can see over here this is our bhk column and this is area column after min max scaling let me take this value of this area column this one just to know how it was calculated by min max scalar so as per our equation we require minimum and maximum value of the area column that you can see over here minimum value of this area column maximum value of this area column and let's put these values into this particular equation you can see over here this data point because we want to know this value how it was calculated by min max scalar so this value minus as per equation mean this value minimum value from this area column as you can see maximum value from this area column minus minimum value from this area column as you can see over here our manually calculated value is exactly same as calculated by sk learn min max scalar that you can see over here so as i say min max scalar internally performs feature scaling using this equation that you can see over here please concentrate on this scaled values by min max scalar here is zero means the normalized value for the minimum value in the data set will always be zero that you can see over here this is the minimum value that you can see over here minimum value of the area column and here zero minimum value in the bhk column so the normalized value for the minimum value in the data set will always be zero and here you can see one in bhk as well as in area column the normalized value for the maximum value in the data set will always be one that you can see over here this is the maximum value available in this area column and here maximum value available in the bhk column so the normalized value for the maximum value in the data set will always be 1 and you can see here in the area column other values so the normalized values for all other values in the data set will be between 0 and 1 so all other values are between 0 and 1 in the scaled value by min max scalar that you can see over here so this way sklearn performs min max scalar internally using this equation so now next standardization using standard scalar as you can see here values of independent variables after applying standard scalar as you know standard scalar is using this equation to perform feature scaling as you can see here scaled values of the bhk and area columns let me take this value from bhk column to this one how it was calculated by standard scalar so as per equation we require mean means average value of bhk column and standard deviation of the bhk column that you can see over here so i found it using numpy so assume that i have already imported numpy as np so np dot mean data 2 this data 2 data frame contains only bhk column that you can see over here average value of this bhk column standard deviation of this bhk column now let's put these values into this particular equation let me take this data point 2 minus average value 2.3 divided by 
this standard deviation value as you can see here our manually calculated value is exactly same as it was calculated by standard scalar that you can see over here so this way standard scalar performs feature scaling that you can see over here so the question is when to use normalization and when to use standardization please don't consider these rules as a rule of thumb if you are following these rules it performs better first normalization is used when the data doesn't have gaussian distribution means bell curve and standardization is used on the data having gaussian distribution means bell curve second normalization scales value in the range of 0 to 1 or minus 1 to 1 standardization is not bounded by range third Normalization is highly affected by outliers. Standardization is slightly affected by outliers. Normalization is considered when the algorithm do not make assumptions about the data distribution. Standardization is used when algorithms make assumptions about the data distribution. Please don't consider this as a rule of thumb. If you are following this, it performs better. So now let's revise feature scaling. Feature scaling allows us to put numerical features into the same scale. It is also called as data normalization. It is very important step in the data pre-processing and this is the last step involved in the data pre-processing before machine learning model training. We apply feature scaling only on independent variables. Usually feature scaling is not required for the dependent variable. Feature scaling is performed column wise on each and every data points individually please remember feature scaling is essential for machine learning algorithms that calculate distances between data if not scale features with the higher value range starts dominating when calculate distances the machine learning algorithms that require feature scaling are mostly k nearest neighbor neural networks support vector machine principal component analysis linear regression and logistic regression the machine learning algorithms that do not require feature scaling are mostly non linear machine learning algorithms like decision tree random forest etc please remember any algorithm which is not distance based is not affected by feature scaling that's all about feature scaling let's jump to jupyter notebook let me show you this practically so let me first import pandas as pd let me import numpy as np let me execute this cell as you can see here our libraries are successfully imported. Now let's load our data set as pandas data frame. So let me write pd dot read underscore csv and our data set name is house underscore price dot csv. You can download this data set from my GitHub account. Link is given in the description of this video. Let me assign it to one variable data is equal to this statement. Let me execute this set. Let me check as you can see over here. BHK price and area. This price this bhk and this area both are our independent variables and price which is our dependent variable so as i say we perform feature scaling only on independent variables usually not required for dependent variable so let me store our independent variables into one variable data one you can use any so bhk and area let me execute this cell let me check as you can see over here. So now let's use min max scalar. So for that we have to import from sklearn dot preprocessing. We have to import min max scalar. Let me execute this cell. As you can see here, now our min max scalar is successfully imported. Now let's create instance of this min max scalar. Let me execute this cell. So let me write min max dot fit underscore transform and here we have to pass data one this one which contains our independent variables let me execute this cell as you can see over here scaled values by our min max scalar so let's calculate this value to know actually how it was calculated by min max scalar so let me write data one and here so we want to find scaled value for this data point of this area column so let me write data and this area column let me assign it to d1 let me execute this cell so as per our equation we require minimum value and maximum value of this particular column area so let me write d1 dot mean as you can see over here minimum value in this particular column 
area and let me find maximum value as you can see here maximum value available in this particular column area so now let's put these values into this particular equation so first data point this one so here xi means this data point as i said feature scaling is performed column wise on each and every data points individually so currently we are calculating scaled value for this data point so let me copy this and let me paste it over here minus as per our equation x min this value so let me copy this value minimum value of the area column let me put this into parenthesis divided by max minus min max minus this max minus let me execute this set as you can see over here our manually calculated value let me copy this and let me paste it over here as you can see over here exactly see this value was calculated by min max scalar of sk learn and our manually calculated value both are same that you can see over here so this way min max scalar internally perform feature scaling for each and every data points using this equation that you can see over here now let's use standard scalar so for that let me import from sklearn dot preprocessing let me import standard scalar let me execute this set let me create instance of this standard scalar i'm using sc you can use any so sc dot fit underscore transform on our independent variables available inside data one data one as you can see over here scaled value of dhk and area column by standard scalar that you can see over here now let's manually calculate this value just to know how this value was calculated by standard scalar as you know standard scalar performs feature scaling using this equation so as per our equation we require mean means average value of this column means bhk column and standard deviation of bhk column so let me write data 1 and we are interested in bhk column let me assign it to b 2 as you can see over here so now let's find average value of this bhk column let's find standard deviation of this bhk column as you can see over here now let's put these values into this equation so here data point as i said feature scaling is performed column wise on each and every data points individually so let me take this data point 2 minus average value 2.3 divided by standard deviation let me copy this value and let me paste it over here let me execute this cell as you can see over here our manually calculated value for standard scalar let me copy and let me paste it over here as you can see over here this value was calculated by standard scalar of sklearn and our manually calculated value both are same so this way feature scaling performs by standard scalar using this equation for each and every data points individually and column wise that you can see over here hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video